A 65-year-old male presented with blurring of vision in left eye since one week. BCVA was 20 by 30 with plus 10 diopter. Slit lamp evaluation showed inferior subluxated IOL bag complex. Pass planner vitrectomy with IOL bag removal and retrofixated iris claw lens was planned. Superior scleroconial tunnel was made, with crescent blade. Using 23-gauge troca cannula system, IOL was steadied with forceps, and anterior vitreous was cleared around it. Subsequently, IOL was removed from tunnel, followed by capsular bag. This was followed by completion of pars planar vitrectomy. Periphery was assessed with indentation to check for retinal breaks. Pupil was constricted pharmacologically, and superior iridectomy was performed. Using customized forceps and spatula, iris claw lens was fixated in retropupillary plane. At post-op day 5, I was quiet, with stable and well-centered iris claw lens. But at 3 weeks, temporal subluxation of lens was noted due to nasal deenclavation. Hence, left eye iris claw lens refixation was planned. Scleroconial tunnel, from first surgery, was reopened. Using light pipe through supratemporal 23 gate sclerotomy, hanging IOL was supported, lifted from vitreous cavity, and brought to retropupillary plane. Lens was re-grasped through anterior approach, using forceps through the scleral tunnel. This was followed by adequate nasal re-enclavation, using spatula. Fundus was reassessed using light pipe and was found to be normal. The case was closed with stable IOL. Postoperative evaluation at two weeks showed BCVA maintained at 20 by 30 through iris claw lens, quiet anterior segment, horizontal ovalization of pupil, and attached retina. Thank you for watching.